have, uh, if, uh, so let's say you have a graph with say a million nodes. Like for example, say, you know, let's say uh, you know, your Twitter. Right? I, don't, I don't know how many people have joined Twitter, but I'm sure it's more than a million. How many people have joined uh, Twitter? Maybe 50 million, I don't know. Yeah, but in 2009 it was about a million, and then it, when uh, Obama joined and Oprah did, it just went straight up. Right. So over 100 million? Or? Um, I think they, last time they went public, they said that 80 million. Okay, so we've got you enough know, data points. It's, right. it's pushing 100 million. Right. Graph you know, pattern matching. So, yeah, so you've got yeah, these yeah. giant graphs, right? Yeah. And so a lot of what you want to do on those graphs is you want to find patterns in those graphs, right? So you want to find, uh, you know, for example, uh, you, know, you want to find, and give me an instance of, like, so tell me, you know, who is connected to both you know, Barack Obama and also Lady Gaga, right? So you want to create a list of people who have connections to both, or, or who has been retweeted by both those people. That'd be an interesting query to ask. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, um, so in order to sort of issue that, so that type of query it turns out to be sort of a subgraph pattern matching query, where you have a graph um, of you know who's retweeting whom or who's connected to whom, uh, and you want to sort of find some 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 part of that graph in the larger context of the much larger graph. So it turns out that uh, you can do it pretty easily on a single node, but when your graph is split across you know hundreds of nodes or you know even thousands of nodes, like like for example Facebook or Twitter, um, you know then uh, then it becomes much more complex. And so uh, so you know um, you know we had some research trying to solve that problem. Yeah. You know. uh, 